today's video we're shooting at 4 a.m. because I can't sleep and I feel sick so anyways I thought there's no better time than right now to hop on a Roblox studio and try to make a full game uh today it's just gonna be a troll obstacle course and this video I'm not gonna be able to show everything because then you guys will know all the tricks traps and uh trolls so don't exactly know how I'm gonna structure it yet but let's get into it this is this is such riveting content right here guys just just naming uh naming folders numbers that's that's real nice man real nice 10 11 12 13 14 15 all right i'll name all of those and uh we gotta think of more stage ideas i'll probably reuse all these five and i want the first three stages to be a normal obstacle course so i could be like here and then at the end of those three stages i'll be like oh you feel good about yourself well everything changes from this point to you know something cryptic i don't know something cool <laughs> but before we get into building all of that we have all of our folders here and all this stuff which yeah Yikes. I might need another folder for kill parts, but I think I'll just name them kill and then use tag editor to, to uh, give them a tag. Matrix Skybox. So we have this absolutely gorgeous being of a skybox, and it doesn't look like a square. It looks like a long rectangle. So let's not have that one. This one, you see what I mean by square, guys? Like, you could see each one directly, and it's just not that great. Uh, however, it does give a cool look on this uh, diamond plate. Oh, I guess that wasn't the skybox. So let's just go with with a black skybox. Nothing. Awesome. So let me see how this one looks. Yeah, that would be sick if I could just change the base color, but you can't. So we're going to go with fully black skybox. And then I think it's atmosphere that what's the thing that has the. All right. So it's come to my, uh, my, uh, vision. I don't know what the word is <laughs> that I don't know how to do this, uh, atmosphere thing, but it did give me another idea for a horror themed obby. Imagine if you literally can't see what's coming next. If you guys want to see that drop a like on this video and i'll make that one next but uh i'm gonna figure out this lighting first and then we can get on to the actual obstacle course all right now while i can't show you building every stage for the obstacle course because that would give away the trolls and all the goodness i can build a spawn pad and like i want to do a custom spawn pad maybe a troll face or something just something custom and um what else the the part the spawn pad will be on so sort of your checkpoint areas so first things first we're gonna just grab this and let's make this the closest what is it right now size 21 by 24 by 1 let's go ahead and just make this 25 by 25 uh i feel like that would be a good size 20 let's go turn rotate turn turn there we go and then we'll copy the center point of this right here perfect paste it into here perfect and then we will just bring it up a little bit now i do want these every time you hit it i want it to have some sort of animation just as a confirmation that you hit it let's go one more down something like like that looks good to me with this done i think i'll start on the actual stages i don't know if i want to keep diamond plates i think i want to go black and then let's add an outline so enter object outline uh is it highlight no highlights the broken one what is that selection box there we go selection box perfect and then we'll just have to mess around with those parameters let's make this neon green boom and then uh transparency zero surface color uh black line thickness one and then the last thing we have to do to make this actually visible is this add or knee thing add or knee set it to the part boom there we go now one is a bit thick for my liking so let's put that to 0.5 something like this i'm thinking looks pretty good actually we have a bit of an industrial look with the uh with the diamond plate so we might change that but other than that i think it looks pretty good i do like it i don't know we're gonna keep it we need a sign because i'm gonna put these up everywhere oh you can do it like like positive signs but like when someone gives you a comp like a backhanded compliment like you look nice today for having genuinely purple teeth you know something something dumb <laughs> but i think it will add a little bit more to the rage and i do know this game will get a horrible like to dislike ratio i'm thinking like 30 percent so if you guys see this video Let's help fight the raging kids by dropping a like on the game <laughs> because this is people are going to get upset. <laughs> All right, guys, I just finished the first three normal stages. And would you look at that? It's starting to get light outside. So I made myself some G fuel to keep myself awake. And uh, yeah, I plan on finishing this whole game from start to finish uh, before I go to bed. So here's the first three normal stages and they are super, super simple. I have it set up like this for now. I do think I'm going to have to remove the... Uh, 
this fog thing because sometimes you spawn kind of like this and it might make people think the game is a bit broken. So I might have to remove that. Like it looks cool, but it would be fine without it as well. So I have some signs over here. Good luck. And let's start easy. This one, you can literally just walk over and then that wasn't bad. XD, you know, back to 2006. Now we have these real easy jump blocks. Boom. Things seem too normal. And then we have this stage right here, which you could still walk over, but I would recommend jumping because some of the gaps might be a little bigger than others. And then this one, from this point on, nothing is as it seems. So at this point, we will change from a normal obstacle course to a troll obstacle course. This uh, quite literally means nothing is as it seems. <laughs> so I'm going to hop on. Let's make five troll stages and then do another check-in. I can't show you guys the troll stages or you'd beat it too fast. It's sad, okay? But I got to do what I got to do here. All right, guys. So I've deleted all of the old stages from the game and remade them in the new stage style and added a couple little twists so they're not the exact same as they were but check it out we have the first three stages which are just normal hey get used to the obby it's an obstacle course you got it and then we have this um this seems too normal and then nothing from here on out is as it seems and then our first troll stage second troll stage look at this guys it's not a bug it's a feature i feel like that is a meme in the roblox developer community and i just i just feel like it needed to be in this game uh so that's funny right here i think it's pretty easy to see these so i guess you know the trick to that one but uh it will maybe get some people who aren't paying attention like if i take my glasses off i genuinely cannot see the outlines right there i i mean my eyes are horrible though so let's let's not talk about that and then I, right here i said hope you have your glasses on now at the i just i just highlighted the part anyway yeah good luck <laughs> Then we got this part right here. And then this. Look at that, guys. What could the trap be? Or is there a trap? And then we have this, of course, which uh, has like a maze, like an invisible wall maze in here, which is very cool. That is nine stages done out of the 15, meaning we have one, two, three, four, five, six stages to go. And then we need to make the GFX uh, icon, game, uh, the, the text logo, thumbnail. We need to make all that stuff as well. Boys and girls, I have some beautiful beautiful, beautiful news. Uh, I've been working on this and I got Robo in here and I was like, hey bro, could you help me script this? And he was like, no need, bro builder. You want to know why? Because I have a plugin that literally makes an obstacle course for you. Uh, his plugin, I'll have it linked down below. It is 100 Robux, but I mean, it'll return tenfold if you actually grind out games. Uh, it has everything in it from checkpoints to kill parts, spinning parts, conveyors, and everything just works. Everything's in a folder and all you have to do is put your stuff in that folder. For example, checkpoints, conveyors, damage parts, skill parts, moving platforms, etc. And uh, it even comes with models that you can use. All of this and a skip stage button and a stage counter. All of this just works. He hasn't had to do anything for me yet. And I'm not a programmer, but look, I could just do this. Boom. I'll walk over. Watch this. Boom. Stage two pops up. Real nice tween. Hit a kill part. Boom. Teleported back to my stage. Everything just works. Easiest, easiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now we're an affinity photo. I have done a couple things. I made, this is, it's not it. I made this logo, Ultimate Troll Obby. That's gonna be the game name, and I didn't make it from scratch, so don't think that, uh, no, my logo commissions are not open or anything. I found a free, uh, text style pack for Photoshop, and then asked Robo if he could edit the text in Photoshop, change the words, and then I brought it in here, changed some colors, changed some stuff, and boom, here's what I end up with, guys. Looks pretty good in my opinion, and what these are gonna be is the purchasable nukes guys this one will nuke everybody's server anyone who's playing in the entire game will die if this is purchased and then we're gonna have another one probably without the blaze on the back so you'd have two different icons and that's just a way to liven up the game i feel like just having text on ui is a little old school and icons are definitely a way to just help it feel a bit more nice so let's get these on and in the game on some buttons and then make some more stages but i want to show you guys sort of a little bit of the gfx updates no game icon yet uh no thumbnail yet but we do have a game logo and now two vectors all right guys i said i was gonna build 15 stages for this obstacle course and call it good and then i realized i'm releasing an obstacle course game and 15 stages is not gonna be enough so so far i have 21 stages some repeated with a little bit of a twist and i think i'll wrap up the video with the 21 stages we still have to go make the gfx so stick 
stick around for that. But I'm going to release the game with anywhere from 30 to 50 stages. But in this video, all you guys are going to see is this 21. So if you want to see the rest of them, check out the game link down below in the description. Anyways, we are going to hop on into Affinity Photo, Blender, all the above, and try to make some sort of game icon and thumbnail for this. I think the game icon will just be a screenshot kind of blurred out uh, with, with a good like angle, right? So we have a lot of this in the background. Maybe, maybe something like, I'll just do something like this. Perfect. Take a screenshot. Beautiful. And then uh, we will go into Affinity Photo and we'll make a game icon first. First things first to do that, our game icon needs to be 512 by 512 so 512 and 512 512 perfect and then i will put this as transparent just because it's a personal preference but it doesn't really matter because you know file um what what is that no nope, nope that's the wrong thing too file new 512 <laughs> create i guess we're not doing transparent but that's okay we're gonna paste this in yes i think i think that's the vibe troll on top of everything perfect bring this up holding shift I suppose. And centering it. That's pretty decent. Obby should come over some. Ultimate looks pretty alright. Guys, the ultimate troll Obby, man. I don't think that looks too bad. It color pops. Should we add... I'm curious if I should add like a sunburst in the background. Also, this needs to come down a bit. It looks a bit stretched. This looks a bit stretched. And then this a uh, little bit. That up. I think that looks pretty dang good for not being a GFX designer, man. I'm not even mad at it. So for now, let's keep it like this. Like 30 million times in this video and stay awake because yeah we have a cool game that we're making we're gonna grab our paintbrush tool zero hardness we're gonna make the size a bit bigger how, how, how much is this that's not enough there we go and then our paint color we're gonna make red and this we're gonna make it have that uh sort of like dead your dead effect that pops so much better already and we don't even have to add a blur we might let's bring this down to like 50 and then we're gonna add a little bit of a blur just to see what that does for us gaussian blur bring that in something like this i do think that does help it pop quite a bit more stands on its own a little bit it makes the background and the foreground blend in a little bit better uh i think this is actually like a pristine uh example <laughs> of what this obby is a troll obby we've got the troll faces we have this unjumpable gap and i think that would make for a good screenshot so let's grab that take it into affinity and boom paste it in here make it fill up our whole canvas perfect put it on the bottom and look at that guys that that's, that's an unjumpable jump, man. And then we're gonna keep our uh, our vibe that we had going on. We're gonna grab some red paint, grab our paintbrush, bring it up a little bit more since this is a thumbnail. Boom, now we have one of our thumbnails. I'm gonna do this for probably two more stages. So we'll have three thumbnails in all. Then the GFX is done. Then maybe we should make badges. Get a badge each stage? I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and get our icon and thumbnail uploaded. Choose file, mine's on the desktop right there. There. And guys, look from this ugly Roblox icon. Okay, it ain't that bad. Upload new. And now we got to wait for that to get approved and hopefully not get banned for a day because sometimes, well, sometimes Roblox likes likes doing things, okay? They like doing the unspeakables. That is going to wrap it up for today. Make sure to hop in here. Send me a, a screenshot if you legitimately beat the obby, okay? If you cheated, I don't care. But that is going to wrap it up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.